Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. On uh, this video, we're playing Shadow Priest. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Don't really expect that much. I wish our damage was a little bit higher, but our survivability is pretty good if we get self heals. Not self heals, uh, just healer heals. Any heals, you'll probably live a lot longer. Because you have 30% damage reduction, 20% damage reduction with a lot of insanity. 10% against melee, baseline, that added on to the 20 is 30% against melee. So, melees don't really do that much to you as a Shadow Priest. I'm gonna try to get my Mind Bender out to get my uh, insanity pretty high, so I take reduced damage already, and it's already there. Gonna build up my haste stacks. Ooh, shit. That is something... Blind, okay. The shadow would paint everyone. We'll be fine. Ah, uh, we're pretty fucked, dude. I think we're dead. Why did I choose to play Alliance? <laughs> so I'm on mercenary mode. Uh, the main reason I'm playing mercenary is because of the reduced queue times. I don't want to wait 10 minutes to play a single battleground, so going to go on the Dalaran sewers and talk to that one random guy that lets me play his lines, which a lot of people don't know about. Yeah, this one's not looking too hot. I mean, the healer's alive. What's up with this demon hunter and this rogue? Demon hunter and rogue love me. Start everyone again. I feel like it's almost not worth putting Vampiric on everyone. Only Shadowward Pain. The reason I'm saying that is because the amount of the cast time needed to actually put Vampiric almost doesn't seem worth it. I just don't like being immobile for that long. But Shadow Priest is one of probably. One of, if not the most immobile caster, next to like Destro Lock, maybe. <clears throat> Just ignore him. He'll go away. Just like your problems that you ignore. To slow him and take his haste. He's got death gripped back. It's about that. There we go. You know, we might come back. There's a, there's a chance. Very low chance. But still a chance. This fight's kind of going in our favor now. A little more towards our favor. I don't think we're going to win it by any chance, so... trying to just get my haste up right now. I've stolen 6% of this guy's haste, which is a decent amount. Sometimes I feel like I prioritize my plays over Mind Blast half the time. It's just the haste you get from it, really. And it does about the same amount of damage. Same amount of cast time as well. But it gets decreased from the amount that you put out there. Which is the main reason, most of the time I don't even take the instant Mind Blast. Talent. I always take the Mind Blast increase and Mind Play damage increase. Just because I think it's pretty good. That Feral's definitely eyeing me up. Just throw dots on everyone. Mostly everyone's in range. That Hunter's on me. That Demon Hunter might go on me. You don't see me. What are you talking about? Okay. Put dots on everyone again. It's kind of the one... I don't know what's a bigger priority. Getting your haste stacks up or getting your dot stacks out. I guess it matters who's close to you. I thought I I thought I was lagging out or something because I couldn't hit the healer and I was just not facing him. I'm pretty sure that uh, Demonology Warlock also used his burst on me and I did not know I had a Demonology Warlock attacking me, so... 
That's uh, that's for everyone who says they want me to play Demonology, which I sadly will. But I just really, really hope it gets buffed sometime here soon. <clears throat> this guy's got really good death grips. This is the, the the one thing Death Knights always have, no matter how shitty they are, especially now, is just death grip. I don't think they'll ever make anything like Death Grip for another class, other than Leap of Faith, which was pretty much groundbreaking when it came out. There were so many bugs you could do with Leap of Faith back in the day. Hopefully the Demon Hunter doesn't go on me. I feel like the Demon Hunter or the Hunter are just most likely to go on me. He's not doing any damage, though. God, I'd be pissed if I was that guy. So my absorb's only for 12,000, and I'm absorbing mostly everyone's damage right now. I'm gonna use Vampiric just to heal teammates. I don't think there's a healer near. Just gonna dot up everyone. That guy's dead. Their healer's Oom, so got that going for us. Probably just reapply dots. Because everyone's not really having that many dots. I'm gonna stun this guy. Could maybe mind flay twice and he might die. Almost. Steal the warlock's haste, son. I think the most interesting concept is this is that you don't only just receive extra haste, the shadow priest, you take the person's haste away from them, which pretty much reduces their damage by a lot. You can get 24% haste, I believe, around there, if you try hard enough. I know, Warlock, I know. It sucks. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got you. Never mind. Didn't do much. Hmm. Like, I think I'm okay? I can never really know. Slowly back away again. He is getting counts of heals, so... Kinda peeled off. I have a hunter on me again still. Haven't seen that guy in a while. Don't have any peels. Have nothing really. No fear, no stun. I have mind control. It's like the only thing I have. He'll probably kick this. Or I'll just die. Either one. Not bad damage, I, I guess, right now. The the healing's the not actually the main thing I'm worried about, but it's nice to see. I mean, I'm up there with a Red Pally. And I, I, I think Red Pally's heal a pretty good amount right now. <clears throat> What's the cast time of this? Wow, we're somehow going to win. Over 2.6 seconds, 1.3 second cast time. So it's a decent bit longer, like twice as long, so I should actually be using Mind Blast a lot more. If I was a Disc Priest, I'd be top damage too. Probably, maybe more in damage. I wouldn't have died, that's for sure. This does, it does get the cooldown reduced by haste. I didn't think it did. There's some abilities that do get their cooldown reduced by haste, and then there's some that don't. And I don't know what makes Blizzard decide between those. I'm trying to think of abilities that should have reduced cooldown based on haste, but don't. Probably aim shot. I don't think aim shot does. <laughs> this is all my cooldowns, by the way. This is my burst. Yeah, worked out, I guess. Let's throw a dot on that guy so he can't still... He'll just run at me. Okay. Weird strategy. Rogue's gonna pop out any second. Warlock's making moves. We'll go after the flag carrier. I just wanted your haste. 
That's the only reason. Now I run away. Thirteen thousand. That's the highest crit I'll ever see on this character. Dang. I don't know, I really, really like the... I think I should go Fortress of Mind, honestly. I don't think I like the Instant Mind Blast that much. I feel like it doesn't happen enough for it to be super good. I mean, it happens a decent amount. <laughs> As I say, it doesn't happen enough. It procs like crazy. So this would be an instance where you might want to use Void Form just for the damage, because you're not actually getting attacked. But... Eh. We'll pop cooldowns on this guy, actually. Oh, never mind. GG. That's Shadow. It seems a little weak, just damage-wise. But that's because it's being played the way it's not supposed to be played, as in we're ignoring Void Form, which was pretty much the whole point of Shadow. But they nerfed it, so it's pretty much useless, at least in PvP, because you are vulnerable outside of that 20% damage reduction. Because you're like a warlock pretty much outside of that. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave any comments suggesting what you guys want to see from my channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to. Click the bell thing to be notified of our least new videos or do live streams. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.